Hello everyone, welcome to FT Plus Academy for Civil Services. In this video, we are going to discuss the recently concluded OPSC Mains 2022 essay paper. The paper was very much on the expected lines. Let us look at the questions first. Now, if we see the uh, left hand side, there were five questions in the paper out of which two were to be attempted and each of these were to be attempted in about 1000 to 1200 words each. Now, as compared to the UPSC essay paper, there are two sections in the UPSC paper with four options each and you have to attempt one out of those. Now, in the today's paper, there were five options to you and you had to choose two out of those. But if we compare the difficulty level, the today's paper was very easy as compared to the UPSC essay paper of recent times. Each and every theme that was asked in today's paper was very manageable. So if we look at the individual themes, the first question, it was related to artificial intelligence. Now, artificial intelligence has been in the news frequently for the past one, two years. Second question, it was related to climate change. Third, it was related to the education in the digital age. Now, fourth, related to use of social media. So social media was the main theme. And in the fifth, the individual responsibility was the major theme that, that was asked. Now, in each of these topics, content would have been there with each and every aspirant, but what mattered was how the particular aspirant presents the content, the structuring of the essay, the logical flow of the essay, use of case studies, courts, statistics at the right time, at the right position. That is what mattered in this particular exam. Also, by looking at the options, certain candidates might have got overexcited and in this overexcitation, they would have maybe not attempted the paper at their expected levels. So it is always, I would suggest, beneficial to stay calm, even if the paper is easier. And please note, if the paper is easier, it is easier for each and every serious aspirant. We should always focus upon that. Now, if we look, if we compare the today's question paper with the one that was suggested by FT Plus in the last video, so we told our students that these are the expected themes and out of those expected themes, three have appeared in the today's paper, as you can see on the screens, social media, technology, as well as education. So I had also mentioned in the earlier video, in the past video, that interconnection between the themes is also possible. And that is what was seen in today's paper, where technology was related with education. Similarly, social media it was related with your democracy your people's opinion etc and uh, in uh, technology per se a question was asked on artificial intelligence now if we talk about our test series so a similar theme based quote was seen in the vst number five question five where a quote was mentioned on individual responsibility so if we look at the today's question paper, the fifth option was everybody's responsibility is nobody's responsibility. The basic theme of this particular court is individual responsibility, right? So you basically had to elaborate on the individual responsibility and the same theme, the same content we had given for question number five also in your VST five. And any student who would have attempted our test series he would have the ready-made for, for, for order for this particular question that appeared in today's exam, right? So this was a ready-made order from our side to our students where they only had to structure the content as per the topic that was mentioned. So this much they had only to do. And also these other themes that were asked, these were also discussed and 
uh, the students were informed well beforehand that they should prepare a dedicated notebook containing the courts, statistics, as well as case studies on all these themes. Right. So this was expected. The paper was very much on the expected lines. Now, the similar trends are also expected in your remaining GS papers, your GS 1 to 4, as well as your optional papers. And we believe the same would be would happen also in your OPSC prelims 2023. Now, for OPSC prelims 2023, we have started a very comprehensive test series the OCSC prelims to the series 2023. And this is very comprehensive in the sense that we are not only covering your statistic, static subjects such as polity, geography, economy, science, tech, environment, etc. We are also covering current affairs, both from the national point of view, international point of view, as well as from the state point of view, first thing, as well as the static content related to the state, that is Odisha. So we have dedicated papers, for example, one dedicated paper to Odisha history, one dedicated paper to Odisha polity. Similarly, we have one dedicated paper for every subject catering to the PYQs. As you can see your screens, the, we, we have shown the first four papers in this particular slide. And you can see these four papers cater to various aspects of history. First paper is catering to ancient, sorry, art and culture. Second to ancient and the medieval history. Third to the modern India history. Fourth to the Odisha history, right? So similarly, fifth paper, it caters to the full length test of history and the sixth paper to the PYQs related to history, not only from your OPSC exam, but also from your UPSC, CSC, CDS, your engineering service exam, uh, CAPF, all these, the important questions from these exams, they are covered. So in around six tests, we are covering the entire gambit of your history. So similar thing we are doing from, for geography, for polity, for economic, as well as for your environment, ecology, and science and tech. And in between, we are covering the current affairs and your Odisha state, particular Odisha state. So if you see your test number 20, it caters to current affairs. So we have inserted a number of such tests which are related to current affairs. Similarly, as you can see on your screens, the test number 28, it is related to current affairs. So then we cover after covering the subject wise sectional test, you can call them. We cover the CSAT test. As you can see on your screens, the test number 34 to 36, that is catering to CSAT sectional test. After the CSAT sectional test, as well as the GS sectional test, we have one dedicated paper for Odisha based current affairs, your test number 37. Then we have the full length test. So we are also providing full length test and there are seven full length tests in your GS1 that is your general studies and sorry, eight full length tests for general studies and five full length tests for your CSA. So in total 13 full length tests are being provided. So this is a very comprehensive package that FT plus is offering and it is at a discounted price of only rupees 5,000. So at nominal prices, the students are getting access to 50 high quality tests, which are of the same standard as your OPSC as well as your UPSC. The questions in these tests, they are unique and original. These questions, they cater to each and every gambit of the syllabus, be it your static subjects or be it the current affairs. They cater to CSAT, they cater to the state related st syllabus. Also, we are offering eight full length tests on GS1 and five full length tests on CSAT. Now, my suggestion for all those students who will be appearing in prelims 2023 is that now is the right time to enroll in this particular test series. By this time, a substantial amount of the syllabus must have been covered. 
so this is the right time to practice as well as to evaluate your performance the plus point of these test series would be that they would be getting access to those questions which have the highest probability of appearing in the real exam now same trend that is being seen in the ongoing mains 2022 that would be repeated in your prelims 23 as well where apt plus the questions which will be predicted by apt plus they would be appearing in the real exam so my suggestion to all the students is to please go through the apt plus test series thoroughly the papers that have been shared by apt plus thoroughly for a sure short success in your exams thank you for watching this video best of luck for your exam